First off, warm the cups with hot water. An espresso is small, strong and hot, so a cold cup is a no-no. Add cold water to the bottom chamber, just below the steam release valve. Use filtered water if you can, especially if you live in a hard water area, because alkaline water can affect coffee's signature rich and complex taste. Choose your coffee. A traditional Italian espresso uses strongly roasted beans, but why not consider a lightly roasted Arabica blend for a more complex taste? Grind your beans just beforehand for the best results. Fill the basket with coffee. Don't be tempted to tamp it down, the coffee needs room to expand. Screw the top half to the bottom as tightly as you can without using the handle. Place the pot onto the stove. If it's on a gas ring, make sure the flames don't lick up the sides of the pot. Aim for a medium heat until the coffee starts rising after around three or four minutes and try not to let it boil. The hot water forces steam towards the bottom funnel, through the coffee and up again through the central column into the top chamber. You'll know when the top chamber is filling because you'll hear bubbling. Once the coffee stops flowing out of the column, you'll hear it stopped or you can check, take the pot off the heat. Leave it to stand for a little while and pour into your warmed cups. There are no rules about when or how to enjoy your espresso. Some people drink one after a meal as it helps ease digestion. Others drink a small glass of water before the espresso to cleanse the palate. Some even drop a slice of lemon peel into the drink to add a hint of citrus. There you have it, the perfect espresso, yours for the making. <laughs>